This year we're trying to improve on our consistency. And, you know, last year we, we did really, really well the second half of the season and you know our guys our guys definitely bought into the systems. But this year, you know, it's a different group, a uh, different mindset, and you know the team chemistry so far to this point has been really good. So just looking to build on that consistency throughout the season. Uh, every year the South Division is a challenging division. You know, each team brings their own identity, their own uh, style of play. So every weekend kind of varies. Um, we use the weeks to kind of prepare for that. So we're just expecting uh, to bring our game and our consistency. And, and really that's all we're focused on right now is, is ourselves. And, you know, expect a challenge from every team in, in our division every night. I think the goal for every team in the league is to win the Robertson Cup. Um, every player who, who is here in Topeka is a competitor. They want to win. Um, our, our goal as an organization is to move players on to the next level, help develop them, and, and just make sure that they have all the tools necessary to be successful. So, you know, it, it's a tough question to really answer. There's a lot of different facets of the game that uh, you, you can set goals for. Um, we just take ours day by day and make sure that our guys are getting better each day. 250 is an impressive number. Uh, for the North American League to be able to move that many players on, is uh, it's outstanding. For the ownership groups, the commitment level from them, the coaching staff, and the players, you know, it, it's just a testament to what the league's been able to do as a whole. Um, you know, it's been really, really great to see as a former player in this league, now being able to coach at this level. Um, you know, it's just it's great to be a part of it, and you know, we're just looking to build on that as a league and as a team this season. You know, the best thing about the North American League Showcase is that it offers such a great opportunity for our players and, you know, to showcase their skills. There's, you know, Division One, Division Three scouts from every school there, NHL scouts. Um, you know, it's really just a great place for everyone to come and, and be able to watch these kids play. Um, it is early in the season, so our guys are still working through a few things uh, on each team. You know, we don't have our systems quite in place, so it's really a good opportunity for them to see really their raw talent and their skill, which, you know, some scouts really like looking at that. So, you know, overall it offers a unique opportunity for the colleges and for the North American League coaches. It offers the opportunity to see midgets play early in the season as well and, and us evaluate their talent early in the season. So. It's, uh, it's really just a good opportunity for everyone, and it's, it's turned into a big deal in the North American League for sure. A lot of kids will get opportunities to play Division One and Division Three from this. Entering our 10th year here in Topeka, uh, the town offers a, a great tight-knit community. Our organization is very active and involved with a lot of uh, different sponsorships and, and events and activities. Um, you know, it, it's a great place for players to be, players to play. Uh, it's not overly big, population of 130,000 people, but you really feel like you get to know them throughout the season. Our fan base is outstanding. They really, truly care about our, our players and what we're doing here. And it's just, uh, it's a great opportunity and a unique experience for these young athletes uh, at the different time in their lives. So. We're just glad to be uh, here in Topeka for our 10th season and looking forward to 10 more here. You know, there's a lot of competitive Junior A hockey leagues in North America. I think what separates the North American League from the rest is that, you know, the resources that we have and offer our players and the, the fact that we scout all across the world to find players in a competitive pool. Um, you know, and also the ever increasing commitment list. You know, you see that climb every year and that's just a testament to what the organizations and coaches and ownership groups are doing in our league. So it's good to see and, and just happy to be a part of it. This year we brought our players in a little bit earlier than usual. Uh, we want to make sure that we build the brotherhood. It's a tight knit group. You know, the, the thing for us is to build that sense of commitment and trust among the among the team and the players. Um, really, it's their team and, and their identity create. You know, we want to play fast. We want to play, you know, up tempo, um, good puck possession hockey. But at the end of the day, if you don't have that sense of brotherhood and trust 
within the group, um, you know, your results won't be what you want them to be. So for us, bringing them in early and building that was important. And so far, our guys have done a great job. Now we just got to translate that on the ice and make sure that uh, we're, we're doing everything that we set out to do.